Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel, um, all the beautiful cards, everything that you guys have been mailing me. Um, I absolutely love it. Lisa, 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 thank you so much for the beautiful Kentucky Derby uh, shirt and socks. I am absolutely in love. And later on, when it uh, cool or it get yeah cools down, I am gonna put that shirt and socks on, baby. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Pisces. Um, so, what I need you to do right now, Pisces, is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, sexy, jerky, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, magical, glorious mother trucking things that you do to me so well here at Titan Stare. So, I am going to slap down the holy water. <laughs> so good in the neighborhood. Hello. What is that? Hello. What is this? Some that was weird. My phone just answered itself. Did you guys hear that? Okay, well, my phone just answered itself. This is wild. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't know what's going on. Mercury retrograde's over. Uh, that was a... Guys, that was the worst Mercury retrograde. I don't ever... But that was horrible. I had, like, a breakdown. Like, even the... It was just wild. I'm so blessed that we're out of it now, Pisces. Oh, my God. I am. I really am. I'm so happy. So, you know what time it is, baby. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T.T. Dong, presiding. They all keep standing and eating their sandwich at the same time. <laughs> so, we're going to check in on the energy that person you're dealing with or whatever energy them coming towards you. My beautiful loves, whatever the case is, we're going to get it. We're going to hit it. We're going to that shit. Oh! <laughs> I always feel Andrew Dice Clay in my soul here lately. <laughs> Even last night I had all the guys. They were all, oh, oh. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> yeah, the majority of my friends are dudes. I know, it's really weird. I, know. I got girlfriends too, but I got like way more dude friends. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> Show! I know y'all like it out there, but I'm not. I'm like, yeah, that song just drives me nuts. Hold on. I gotta get protection here for my keyboard. I just gotta protect everything here these days. Whew. I think we're, that might look better this way. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to catch the light. <laughs> Show! Whoa, 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 whoa! No lightning bolts today, though. <laughs> Instead of a lightning bolt, you know what we've got? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's Duck Reed. This is my uh, this is my trumpet. When Archangel Gabriel comes out, I pull out my trumpet just like he does. Well, in case it's it, this is a Duck Reed. This is a hand carved Duck Reed from the 1980s. You know? So. Pisces, down on the table, we have established that we've got judgment, if you didn't know that. <laughs> I made that real clear. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles down here on the table. We've got the Ace of Cups. The overall energy for the reading is the Queen of Wands here. Oh, God. This could be your energy. This could be your person's energy. However, this energy here on the table, well, the crossing energy here, is uh, very passionate. Um, everybody's attracted to the Queen of Wands. Um, she gets attention with her, you know, her charm, her 
upbeat personality, her looks, she's attractive, appealing. She's a little bit mysterious too. Um, Queen of Wands energy has a tendency to be like a stage performer, actress, uh, you front man for a band, uh, just all about the attention here, fiery energy, everybody likes that fire, everybody's attracted to the fire, because everybody wants to burn with desire. <laughs> oh, the cool. We're not burning people here. Oh my god. She gotta keep doing that shit to me. I'm so sick of that judge. Nine of Pentacles down here on the table. This is a card of liberation, independence, abundance, uh, being able to attract what you want here. And then, as we know, we've got the judgment card here down on the table. Uh, so, Archangel Gabriel blew his trumpet and is like, Well, time for you to look under your rug. You got a big lump under this rug. What? It, oh, look at all this stuff under your rug. Oh, you got a sandwich from 1982 under this rug. Oh, no, you got a White Castle sandwich from 1993. What are all these wrappers under this rug? Get rid of this crap. Do you need this crap? So basically, your person's taking a look and trying to eliminate, you know, what crap they don't need and, you know, what crap they do need here, okay? <laughs> it's also a card of second chances too, okay? So basically, this, this is a second chance here because that's why Archangel Gabriel is there. He's like, okay, well, for the grand finale, the last final judgment... We need to work this out, okay? Ace of Cups, we got the love dove here is in the air. Overflowing love, just so delicious. It's like squeezing an orange and all the juice is just flowing out. Hopefully this person does not have any paper cuts like I do from reading tarot on their hands because that will be very, very painful. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. What's going on with judgment? Let's talk to judgment. Archangel Gabriel. What's this? Oh, 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 boy. Is your person doing good right now? No. 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 This person is not doing good right now. Shit has hit the fan, okay? Shit has hit the fan here, Pisces. Uh, it could literally hit the fan. So there might be poop splatter everywhere here. Now your person basically has got to clean up all the poop splatter. So they've been putting poop here under the rug. Oh, who does that? <laughs> oh, the court! Stop this rambling! Oh, my God. Jesus, I don't know what's wrong with this judge. So, judgment... Right now, for your person, is no bueno situation here. It is literally affecting their psyche here, okay? Their psyche is vulnerable right now. Their psyche is feeling like it's been attacked right now. So there's a lot of compression here that is being released from this person's head right now because of this judgment. So they have gone through the ringer stinger, baby. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's go more here under the uh, three swords with the judgment. Let's work it. Top to bottom, my hands are getting numb. Because <laughs> it's so effing cold. Oh, yeah. So, that's perfectly normal here when you're going through judgment. The strength card falls out because it's like you got to, after you've uh, been put through the ringer, you know, it's like, it's time to get your willpower. It's time to get your strength back here. Time to get your head back in balance here. So basically, your persons, they're working it out. They're working that. They're getting their balance back here is what's coming through here on this reading today. So we got the nine of pen down here on the table. It's a card of liberation. We're going to check out that nine pen and see what's going on. Why is that nine pen here, please, in Pisces person's energy? Oh, boy. They're not feeling very liberated right now. And uh, Pisces, this person's doing a lot of thinking about you here. They're up really late at night here. They can't sleep, okay? It's all about fears, worries, depression, anxiety. Uh, it's just too many thoughts here, okay? So it's like they can't seem to quite get liberated here, okay? Oh, <laughs> this is... They're wanting to free themselves from these chains that are binding their mind here, okay, when it comes to you. Let's go more here. 
Under the Nine of Pen with the Nine of Swords. Let's go. Nine of Pen with the Nine of Swords. What's going on here? Okay. Uno momento, por favor. Uno momento, por Oh, God, Lord, have mercy here. Okay. <laughs> oh, they want to liberate themselves, but Pisces, they're just like a little baby here, okay? So your person's... Uh, they're in their basic infancy, okay? Or this connection is in this it is in its infancy right now. So it's like hmm. this person's been up in their head about how they've been up in their infancy here, okay? How they've been a flip flopper here, basically at the end of the day. Um, they've taken a lot of dares here in pursuit of you know adventure here and you know honestly it just hasn't worked out very well here is what's coming through on the reading today um you know and then we got the page of cups crossing all this energy so it's like they really like the idea of love but at the same rate um this person still they they've been too immature to understand what commitment is like really about here and this person has realized that they have been basically in their infancy, like a little baby. So this grown-ass person here has been acting like a little baby. Okay. But under this Nine of Pentacles energy here with all this anxiety here and then being a flip-flopper, it's like they want to come in here uh, and say something or take some kind of action towards you here with the Knight of Swords to set things in a better motion here. So What's going on with this Knight of Swords here? Why is this Knight of Swords here? Let's go. Hmm. But it's like, oh boy. They can't. <laughs> oh, the Clark, who are these jack wagons? I'm no judge. And there they go. And what are they? They're, it's like they can't make their move towards you here, Pisces, because there's some stuff that this person needs to basically, it's like... They need to go through. It's like on one end of the spectrum here. So they're basically at a deadlock or at an impasse here on how they need to take this action here. Because obviously this person needs some damn rest here. They're still not healed. Okay? It's like, Jesus. And they need to come in here and tell you the truth here. So they've already gone through the heartache of the matter of the situation here because we got those three swords down here on the table now we got these four swords saying it's time for them to heal what do they need to heal from the truth that this person has been holding back here from you the whole mother truck in time mm. god damn oh, these people let's talk to that ace of cups why is this ace of cups even here then god why is this ace of cups here so we know they got love for you baby but what is this ace of cups here from oh Oh, 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 there's a sword. Oh, 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 shit. Wow, Pisces. Pisces. Did you just not see that? I said they needed to tell you. This is, we got, we got one, we got two, we got three, and we literally had the four sword as the overall crossing energy here for this two swords here down on the table. So now... You got somebody here, your past life soulmate from 1572, coming back in here to tell you how they feel. Shit has hit the fan, baby. And this person is coming in to tell you how much love and deep emotion they have for you at the end of the mother trucking day. Damn! Wow! Oh, this is a powerful reading. Woo, doggy! So, let's close it off with this white sage and get the final messages on what this person wants to tell my... Beautiful Pisces. Oh, well, yeah, you're attractive here. We all know that. Ace of Pentacles. Now we got three aces down here. They got a, There's an offer coming in. There's love. There's truth. This person really feels you, Pisces. It's a strong soulmate connection. Cards are flying out. We got the strength card reiterating what I just said down the center of the line about this person going through judgment and how their psyche has been affected to the nine cups. You are this person's desire. Can I get an amen? God damn!